Good morning. Good God bless you. Good, good, good. God bless you. Good to see each and every last one of you all on Saturday's broadcast. It is good to see each and every last one of you. Those who are coming on, I am honored to see each and every last one of you. I am Jackie Fleming. If this is your first time, God bless you. I am live on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, and I am live on Facebook. Yes, um, today's broadcast, um, we're live on Apostles John Eckhart's Saturday's broadcast, and he happens to be my spiritual father, and I'm so honored to be on his Saturday broadcast. Amen. So I praise God for his uh, broadcast streaming live right now on Facebook, and I'm live on YouTube as well. God bless you all. I hope you're excited about today's broadcast. <clears throat> I want to um, <clears throat> I want to greet everybody that's coming on and in and watching the replay. Those who are watching live, that's streaming live, we want to say good God bless you, a good God bless you from all of those who are coming from all over the world. So good morning. Good evening, good afternoon. Listen, as you're coming in, shout your city, shout your state out. Where are you coming from and where you're coming in from? We want to bless your region. We believe in the blessings of the Lord. As you're coming on, you are blessed. We bless you. You're blessed. You're not cursed. You're blessed. Wherever you go, you are blessed. Amen. So listen, we we just want to bless your region. Where are you coming in from? Let's look at the comments. All right. We see Decatur, Georgia. We see uh, Ohio. We see Illinois. We see Atlanta, Noonan. Amen. We see uh, Florida. We see Missouri. We see Texas. Uh, we are a global community. And we praise God for Chicago. We praise God for North Carolina. Oh, my goodness. We see so many of you all. Michigan, New York. We are all over Louisiana. Amen. Tennessee. God bless each and every last one of you all that's coming in from Ghana. Yes, God bless you. Uh, we thank God for each and every last one of you all that's coming in. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Listen, what I want you to do is before we get started, because we have some powerful uh, prayers and declarations, a prophetic flow that is about to happen. Amen. Glory be unto God. So we want you to share this video, invite some people on, help us to get the word out, this prayer out today. So good morning, all kingdom citizens. Thank you for coming on. Amen. Could you share this video? We ask that you share. The Bible says you have not because you don't add. Amen. A lot of people are missing out on a lot of great things in life because they don't add. A lot of people don't ask for help. Listen, my partners grew when I asked for partners. I asked, I said, listen, can you go to my website and subscribe? We have over 4,000 uh, subscribers, amen, on our website, amen. It takes a lot of energy for someone to give you their email, amen. So we have a community online. So if Facebook ever shuts down and social media, we have an email audience that we communicate to, amen. So, um, so the power of asking, amen, our YouTube channel just grew to almost 3,000 followers because I asked people, hey, go to my YouTube channel, type in the name Jackie Fleming, and you'll see the, if it's, if it's only like 100 followers, don't follow that one. That's probably a fake page. But those who are higher numbers, that's my page. All right. And so I asked for some of you all to go and follow me on Instagram, and it took it up to 10,000. Amen. I normally don't uh, work my Instagram page, but I saw you all wanted to be on Instagram. So I said, listen, my Instagram page is Jackie Fleming one. And when I told you all, it took my Instagram page up to 10,000 followers with the power of asking. I'm not sitting here trying to brag on myself or, hey, look at me. Who I got followers. I'm teaching you biblical uh, uh, principles that will get you success. Listen, I'm teaching you biblical principles that will get you success. And the Bible says the reason many people don't have anything, a lot of things they're missing in life is because they don't ask. And so if you ask, you shall receive. Let me tell you something. It's so many, it's millions and billions of people in this world. Everybody can't tell God no. 
concerning your life. Did you hear what I just said? It's billions and billions and so many people in this world. Everybody can't tell God no concerning your life. So make sure you stick with God because God has a specific people just for you. But you have to know the power of asking. Amen. Ask and you shall receive. So we ask this morning that you share this video, invite some people on, uh, tag a friend, share it, text it to somebody. On YouTube, you probably have to send it or text it to someone and send that link and share and let someone know. Tune in today. God bless your obedience. God bless you. God bless you for sharing. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, this morning. So just even starting off, you understand the power of asking and you shall receive. Amen. God bless you. Today is going to be very powerful because as I begin to pray, Holy Spirit begin to tell us we're now in this month of March. Amen. Marching into victory. So we are, we're we're going to see answer prayers, victories, and different things. But let me tell you something. You have to know in certain times when what kind of prayers to pray. You have to know at certain times what kind of prayers to pray. Every day shouldn't be warfare prayers. If you're coming on here and you're constantly always under a demonic attack, then you, you really, really need to go on a retreat with God because every day the devil shouldn't have his hands on you. Every day you shouldn't be sad. Every day you shouldn't be sick. Every day you shouldn't be, listen, that that you're going to have to really break off some strongholds, um, uh, mental bondages. You're going to have to break off uh, some curses, uh, counsel outs. You're going to have to speak to your mountains. A lot of things you're going to have to do and put uh, reprogram your life. You're going to have to reprogram program your life because as a born again believer, you're supposed to be walking in the fruits fruits of the spirit. You, as a born again believer, you, your life is supposed to be seeing spiritual results. You're supposed to be fruitful. Your life is supposed to be fruitful. We 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 shouldn't see bad fruit coming from you every every other week. You what come what what is coming from your tree? What is coming from your tree? Are you are you producing? Is is your life um producing good trees or bad fruit? Are you producing bad fruit or are you producing good fruit? If we check your life, what kind of fruit is coming from you? Is it uh you know bitterness, gossip, jealousy, or is it life? The life of God needs to flow through you. The power of God is about to hit this live. The power, the angels of the Lord just showed up. Hallelujah. The power of God is about to hit this life. Somebody is about to come into the knowledge of who God, why God have you on this earth. You are needed. You are needed. You have value and God is going to use you. And he's going to help you to see where the enemy has slowed you down for years. And for some reason in your spirit, you've been feeling as if things ain't been working. Things ain't been working the way I wanted it to work. And it's just something don't feel right. But God is saying that's where the, the power of deliverance is going to come. And it's going to hit your life. And it's going to get you on course. You're going to see God put you back on course. But you've got to understand why God wants to begin to show you and reveal his his plans to you in your life and your family. So your life is supposed to be producing fruit. Your light of your life is supposed to be fruitful. If not, that's where you got to really go and pray and really want this. And this is what I do when people need deliverance. You know, I ask them, like Jesus said, do you want to be made whole? Because some people are some people are comfortable with their devils. Some people are comfortable with the generational curse. Some people are comfortable with, oh, no, no, this is the way it's supposed to be. Like around this time, people who are saying, oh, I deal with allergy season. No, you just spoke into the atmosphere that that is mine. Allergies is mine. You have to speak against that. Because at one point in my life, people was coming around me saying, oh, I deal with allergies. And then I looked up. I was like, oh, 
And someone was like, oh, I guess she has allergies. I said, oh, I guess I got allergies. So I went to the doctor and I went and got on all this medication and I went and tried to take this allergy stuff. I had pressure all in my face and all kind of stuff. It was just oh, one of the worst feelings ever. And so as I began to understand the school of the spirit, when I began to learn about healing and, and how you don't have to receive what the devil puts on you, you don't have to receive what the devil puts on you. Glory be unto God. This lady, uh, this prophet came into my boutique. What day was it? It was on a Saturday, I think, a Sunday, a Saturday. I'm sorry, it was like a Friday or Saturday. She came in my boutique and she had her daughter with me. And she looked at me and she was just saying she was hungry. She was like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. And I told her, I said, well, um, it's a, a Chick-fil-A down the street. You want to go get something to eat? And she said, um, oh, well, I love their milkshake. And I said, well, you better get some Chick-fil-A and some milkshakes or whatever. She said, but I can't um, eat. I can't drink too much. Cause it, you know, um, I, I used to couldn't drink milk. And when she was talking, she said, I used, I couldn't, I used to couldn't drink milk. The spirit of the Lord was speaking to me mm -mm, before this little girl Lee began to pray the prayer of healing over her, that she can begin to walk in this, in healing. And before I could even utter it out of her, my mouth, because the mother was a prophet, she said, the daughter said, oh, but my mama took care of that thing. I said, what? She said, my mama, this was a little girl. She said, oh, I used to couldn't drink milk, but my mama took care of that, that spirit. And I said, what happened? Oh, she prayed a prayer of deliverance over me. Now I can drink anything. I said, what? She said, she prayed a prayer of deliverance on me. I can drink milk, but I prefer to drink uh, uh, almond milk and all of this. Name. I, what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is her mama saw that the devil was trying to put certain things on this girl to limit her. You can't do this. You can't do that. You couldn't. Do and her mama began to pray prayers of deliverance on, because if not, you will stay in the hospital. You'll stay sick and you'll be very sickly. And she said her mama began to pray prayers of deliverance. Now she can drink milk, but she said, because it still kind of makes her stomach a little bubbly, but she can still drink it without being rushed to the hospital. So she said, I prefer to drink the healthier milks. And so listen, her mother took out that spirit. You have to understand, you don't have to receive what the enemy is putting on you. If you feel sick, you got to say, I resist it immediately. Don't go on social media. Don't go talking to people saying, this is my sickness. Y'all pray for me. I'm dealing with this. Y'all pray for me. I'm dealing with this. Now, listen, when you do, the Bible says, when you do go to the elders, ask for prayer. Yes. If you want to let them know, hey, I am dealing with cancer. I am dealing with, you know, HIV or I'm dealing with this, this, that. Can you pray the prayer of deliverance for me? Because I need prayers. But then once you understand prayer and how to pray, we're going to teach you how to resist it resist it. This is not me. This is not you. You're not Satan. You have, you have no, you're going to learn that Satan has no right to touch you. All right. So we want you to understand that you're supposed to be living a life of victory. And so different prayers, God is going to teach us how to pray. And this is by the leading of the Holy Spirit. This is why leading of Holy Spirit, you have to learn how to walk in the spirit. Many don't walk in the spirit. Many people are not reading their Bibles. Many are walking according to the flesh, according to this world. They're not reading their Bibles. They're not walking in the spirit. Many people are very carnal minded. When I did a full teaching and study on being carnal, carnality, I was a victim of it. I was very carnal and I was a prophet, a preacher, you know, pastor and leader all this stuff. I was very carnal. And when I began to study the word carnality, I realized, and instead of running to go and hear that, I would be like, oh, I repent. I'm too carnal. Well, why isn't this happening? Mm, I'm too carnal. A carnal person focused more on the flesh than in the spirit. Because in the flesh, it may say it's not going to happen. But in the spirit, you can begin to disarm things. And you can say, listen, I don't care what I see. We're going to get through this. I don't care what demonic attack is coming against me. I, I plead the blood of Jesus. So today, 
Somebody say today. You're going to learn today how to disarm evil powers that is working against you. It may not be every day, but when you pick it up in the spirit, you'll know how to engage. Like right now, there is a strong demonic, uh, demonic like activity that's happening right now in the spirit realm that the enemy wants to kind of silence and throw spells and curses, but we put a shield of protection around us. You put that shield, you got to sense it in the spirit. I don't know, but you got to sense it. I can feel evil. I can sense an evil eye. I can sense, hallelujah, a friend turning into an enemy. You come on, you can sense a friend turning into an enemy. You don't know how, you don't know what got in their ear, but let me tell you something, people, we all carry spirits. Either good spirits or bad spirits. And let me tell you something. Let me just show you this. Ain't no perfect person. Because at any moment, I can even allow a spirit to speak in my ear if I don't know how to silence it. Yes, I'll end up fussing with somebody, arguing with somebody, trying to prove my point, trying to, I'll let somebody make me feel, feel weak. You can let people make you feel weak. You all kind of things. But then I have to realize, am I walking in the spirit or in the flesh? I got to learn how to respond, when to respond, not to respond, when to hold my peace and when not to give out my pearls, when to give out my pearls. You have to understand all of us are in this walk. Ain't no perfect person. Everybody has to learn how to dis, 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 disengage and, and how to engage and know what to do at certain times you have to be led by the spirit you can't just be sitting in the house and just watching tv and then your daughter and they're about to commit suicide you you'll be surprised how many people have told me that their own parents was in the house and they was in there cutting themselves up, about to kill themselves and no one could pick up in the spirit that something evil is in my house because guess what listen if you don't have any encounter with devils on a regular basis, that means you and Satan going the same way. Y'all on the same team. If you are not encountering Satan it, here and there, that means you and Satan is going in the same direction. And you're like, oh, I don't feel nothing. I don't feel nothing. And, and you, you got to. Listen, what I'm teaching is you're not supposed to be praying demonic prayers every day. There should be a certain prayer. The Bible says he inhabits the praises of his people. So every day should be praising God. And God, I thank you. I thank you for this day. And I thank you for your protection and blood. But then there should be some kind of sensitivity in the spirit. What, what, what direction you need to go into prayer today. Every day shouldn't be the same prayers. Because as you pray, you have to be led by the spirit of God. I'm feeling led to go into Psalms 91 today. I'm feeling led to go in Psalms 23 today. Why? Because each scripture has a different direction. Psalms 23 is talking about the provision of God and how God will cover you and, you know, different things like that. Psalms 23 is the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord anoints my head. My cup runneth over. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your mercy. Psalms 91 is a little bit different because you're attacking these demonic spirits that God talks about, these creatures that comes out. And then he talks about how evil arrows are being shot at you in the day. And he said, he said, in noon, they eat arrows and then uh, midnight arrows and different arrows that's being shot at you. What kind of arrows? Arrows of depression, arrows of sickness, arrows of uh, tumors, arrows of marital uh, delay, arrows to keep you barren, arrows to keep you in poverty. And God is saying, this is the time where you have to begin to buckle up and get the spirit of discernment to discern. Listen, there are arrows being shot at me. I was preaching at a glory night. One night one, it was the fire of the Lord. I began to teach them how to disengage and how to fight against the enemy. And one of the pastors that showed up that night, she said, woman of God, it is so crazy. You are teaching about arrows. Because she said, listen, I was at our Sunday service and she said, the Lord told me to duck. She said, what am I ducking for? 
She said she heard in the spirit duck and she began to 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 duck. And she said, all I know, I felt arrows coming at me in the spirit. Oh, y'all better hear me. See, people don't understand. Life is highly spiritual. This whole world is spiritual. But if you don't understand what's going on, you will be a victim by it. You'll think, oh, this is something supposed to be happen happening. But thank God that she had intercessors and they began to pray because whatever was being sent towards them, come on, it, 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 it she understood it's time to pray. You got to know it's time to pray. It's time to pray. Get up and pray. Get up and pray. Break those arrows that's coming against you. Break those arrows that's trying to, trying to steal, kill, and destroy. Some people, let me tell you something. Anybody can teach you how to start a business. But can you keep the business? Because there is a level of attacks that's going to come to anything you do. Anybody can get married, but can you keep the marriage? Anybody can make millions, but can you keep the millions flowing in? Why? You have to pray against whatever is coming against you, anything that's resisting you. And sometimes you have to pray morning, noon, and night. Yes, you'll be able to vacation. Yes, you'll be able to enjoy life. But let me tell you something. You deal with whatever is trying to deal with you in the name of Jesus. You hear me? So every day isn't warfare prayers, but you have the discernment to know which direction God is telling me he's leading me in. You can be cleaning up today. Today is cleanup day. You go do laundry and you clean it up the house or whatever. And, and then you just get this. This, this, this and, and That's why when I clean up, I play worship music. I go into praise as I la 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 so kote ka la 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 ba so kote la 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 ba so le la 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 ma so kote ka la 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 bo so I just begin to worship the Lord like never before, and then I begin to sing praises unto the Lord, and then as I clean up. Uh, I, I, I let the Lord reveal to me. That's where I'll see if my children are hiding anything from me. I don't understand how you the parent of your house and you don't know if your child hiding stuff. I find so much stuff in their rooms. And then when they get home, I, all I do is I say, come here. What is this? Come here. What is this? Come here. Come here. What is this? Okay. For, so this weekend, we're going to take phones. Y'all need a break from the internet. Come on. You have to, you have to be the priest of your home the prophet of your home. You have to be, come on, you have to learn how to stand and pastor that home. Glory be unto God. You have to learn how to begin to rage war on the enemy over there. Let the Lord show you some things. Let the Lord show you, let the Lord show you where the enemy is hiding. Let the Lord show you, come on somebody, what is happening in the spirit realm concerning your home? So you mean to tell me you're just sitting there watching TV? And the devil is just 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 beating your husband up, and you you don't even you can't even discern that this is not normal. That my spouse, I left and went to the grocery store. My spouse been in that same chair all day long. Then you got back from the grocery store. He's still in that same chair, baby. You better arrest some spirit. I arrest this. You can arrest spirits and take them to the courts of heaven. And say, Lord, deal with these spirits in the name. I arrest these spirits. That means, and I put a restraining order. You come on, you got to know these terms. I put a restraining on a over a restraining order over this spirit in the name. You, that means when you put a restraining order, he can no longer touch you again. They can no longer do it again in the name of Jesus. And you got to remember, spirits don't have bodies. I mean, they don't have um genders. Spirits are neither male nor female. So they have no business sleeping with you in, in night. Monday, those wicked spirits. So you mean to tell me that every night you're having an orgasm by a spirit? A spirit is not even a male or a female. Oh, my goodness. So that means you could be... be just just put two and two together. There are no male or female. And they and they use certain images to show you in the dreams. That ain't your husband. That ain't your friend. 
That ain't that that, that ain't uh R. Kelly, you know, who, who all these celebrities you like and they show up in your dream and they show up as a person you like, but that's what they are. They have no right to violate you in your dream, they have no right to rape you. You're being raped every night in your dream. You have to deal with that and say, I break any evil of covenants, any evil agreements. What movie did I watch? What did I do? Who laid hands on me? What church did I go to? And then now all of a sudden I'm being raped in my dreams. Deal with this thing in the name of Jesus and arrest those spirit. And then and, and if you see your spouse is not acting normal, then you have to arrest that spirit that is harassing him or harassing her in the name of Jesus, that spirit that harasses my family. You're going to have to learn. If you don't learn how to pray, you will be victim of devils. You'll be victims of this world. And so, you know what, this, you know, for those who don't like, because your pastor told you don't talk about demons because he got demons in him. For, your, for those of you who pastors and prophets or, or, or leaders that tell you, oh, don't talk about demons. Because the, they got they got plenty of them in them. They own Satan's team. I'll just say it like this. Instead of talking about spirits, you got too much negative energy around you. See, they like that term more than spirit. They don't want to address it. You got so then you got too much negative energy around you. You got too much negativity around you. It's too much negative. You need positive. Every other week you mad with somebody. Every other week, you jealous. Every church you go to, you left that church because you got jealous of the first lady. Then you, then now you left this church. They ain't got no first lady. The pastor single. Now you jealous of any woman that's in any auxiliary that has head leadership. You're jealous of her. So now you're leaving that church because the truth of the matter, you are a Jezebel. You cannot sit under no one. And the Lord is testing you. You got to look at your life. Sometimes God is testing you. To show you, it ain't you hopping from church to church. It is, do, do you understand that there is something over your head that you got to deal with? Because wherever you go, that same spirit is following you and it's the spirit of Jezebel. You want to control. You want to you want to be a witchy. You want to control. If you see yourself want to control everything, you are dealing with the witchcraft spirit. Either somebody or somebody in your, and then you claim you are prophet, but really you are dealing with witch, a witchcraft spirit because you're very controlling. You don't want a pastor. You want to control people. You are dealing with rejection from not having that mother, for not having that father. Now you want to literally start this whole army like Jezebel and have all these men and women serving you. Ministry is not about having a whole entourage. Ministry is not about looking cute. Ministry is not, come on, can you deal with the devils that's attached to it? So what the Lord is saying, sometimes you're in a situation, the reason you're running from church to church is because what God wants you to do is, can you sit in and do what the Bible says? Be faithful under another's. And it no man, you don't have to run at the doors. God will open that, that door. And, it, and it's so funny, even if you are faithful under another person and God finally opens that door, we still serve. We are saved to serve. We are saved to serve. You never get to a point where I have arrived. You're always serving. You're serving God's people. Even if God gives you a gift, it's not for you to boast and brag. It's to serve. It's to serve. It's to help the body of Christ. We are saved to serve, not to be worshipped. We're saved to serve, not to be worshipped. Well, I'm going to get in ministry to make money. You never know. God, as soon as you get in ministry, God, I'm going to say your whole, your the, the, the next couple of years, your whole assignment is to sow everything. You just sow, 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 sow. You're going to be like, well, God, I thought I was going to get in ministry and at least make some money. You'll be surprised when people tell you their journeys in ministry. I wonder if you will still do ministry when God tell you to sow your house. Oh. Uh, People don't want to hear this kind of stuff. They they want to hear, oh, you next. You the next prophet to the nations. But let me tell you something. If you are called to ministry, what if God tells you to sell your house 
and use that money to advance my kingdom. Listen to the missionary stories, how they had to sell this, sell that, and do all kind of stuff. You think you really called the ministry? What you going to do when God tells you to sell your car into one of the members? Y'all better hear me in here today. What are you going to do when God tells you to sew your car into one of the members that don't have a car? But people claim they hear from God. What are you going to do? You want the glory or do you want to serve God's kingdom? We are saved to serve. Whether you have a position or not, you are saved to serve. So you're going to learn today that I can't stop a witch from trying to put spells on me. I can't stop somebody from gossiping on me. I can't stop. Y'all better hear me here today. I can't stop evil attacks coming against me. I can't stop the devil throwing evil arrows at me. But I can make sure that it don't touch me. Because I know what to do. I can't stop a witch from throwing spells on me, but I can make sure that that spell don't touch me. Do you hear what I'm saying in the spirit? See, God is going to teach you all about dominion. When you walk in dominion, you don't, you, I don't, I don't care that you throwing spells on me. I'll just make sure that it will never touch me. I don't care that you up here gossiping on me. I'll just make sure that I silence every voice of the enemy that it won't come to pass. You better hear me here. You can't stop it. Come on. You can't stop what people are doing, but you can make sure it don't touch you. You better make sure it don't touch you. There are evil, evil plans being plotted right now, baby. But make sure that you got enough prayers that it don't touch you. They can be throwing all kind of stuff evil at you, throwing it your way. They in gossip sessions. You, do, do you see what they doing? Look, look, everybody want to start a church. Let them talk. Let them talk. Let them talk. But let God, you better go in prayer. Because when you pray this prayer, no weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. Oh, it's a boomerang that happens. I don't care. Come on. Listen, sometimes when I pray prayers, I'm like, Lord, I pray that it ain't none of my family members that's doing this stuff. Because the Bible talks about how he will go and give you, he, he will... He will, he will give you uh, uh, um, vengeance. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. The Lord said, let me venge, let me give you vengeance. Oh my goodness, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. And sometimes when I'm praying prayers, the biblical prayers, I said, Lord, I pray it ain't nobody because God is going to literally, that thing will boomerang around and whoever is saying it, it will bounce back on them. It will, if somebody is planning your death, it will bounce back on them. If somebody is praying you to fall, it will bounce back on them. And so I just begin to say, Lord, cover me. Lord, cover me. Lord, cover me. Lord, cover me. Because whatever is shooting at me, it bounces back. And you got to understand that you have to pray your prayers because people are literally doing things that you don't have no clue about. Remember, today, as you disarm spirits, they can come against you, but they should not be able to touch you. You know how to stop it. God wants you to get to a place. Know how to stop what is a coming against you. And somebody said, well, how do you even know? It's not your job to try to figure out who is plotting this next. You just get, you just got to have the spirit of discernment to know what to pray for every day. And some of you all, you just pray in the morning time. But you got to understand when you get to certain levels in God, certain levels in business, certain levels in ministry, certain levels in your marriage, certain levels with your children, you got to pray three times a day. Somebody said pray three times a day. Pray three times. You got to pray morning, noon, and night. Pray the scripture. Pray the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? When the wicked, even my the, when the wicked, even my enemies come upon me, they stumble and fail. They stumble and fail. They stumble and fall. You got to pray three times a day. Well, I pray Psalms 23 in the morning. Pray it again. You got to pray Psalms 23, morning, noon, and night. Pray it in the morning time. Pray it at noon. Pray it at midnight. Set your alarm clock and say at least. For an hour or, or 20 minutes, every morning, noon, and night, I got to cover myself. 
Because where God has taken me, I'm about to, if you know you're about to have a big, huge testimony, you better cover yourself morning, noon, and night in prayer. Because guess what? The devil is, a, he like these joy stillers. They don't like good testimonies. So they want to make you sad, make you, uh uh-uh. But let's, let's begin to, let's begin to go forth. All right. So you disengage. Let's start. Let's begin to tell God, thank you. Hallelujah. Begin to tell God, thank you. Because we're about to disarm some evil powers working against you. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this prayer time. We thank you for the prophetic flow. We thank you for speaking to families. We thank you, Lord God, that you're opening eyes. There are many people that's on here. They didn't even supposed to be on here. But Lord, the angels of the Lord made sure that they woke them up because they have to. Enough is enough. Enough is in. I heard the spirit of the Lord say enough is enough for you. You've been in the same demonic cycles. Every year around this time, your finances dry up. Every year around this time, the enemy hits your credit. Every year around this time, your, your body gets so weak, you can't even do the will of God. Why is it right when God sends an angel to heal your marriage, all of a sudden, your body feel weak? Mm. God done silenced that God done silenced that devil that's been attacking your marriage and your spouse finally comes up to you and say, "You want to go out to eat tonight?" And you're like, "Oh my goodness, I I would, but I got a headache." Why is it it's constantly tall? Soon as God is like you about to walk in the greatest breakthrough of your life, next thing you know, you got a headache. You're like, I don't know why, but it's some pressure in my head. I would go on a date, but I got a pressure in my head. You better go and begin to say, Satan, I rebuke you because me and my spouse had been talking. And then all of a sudden he comes and say, look, you want to go on a date? That means God is going to give you, he's about to give you total restoration. Total restoration is about to hit your life. And then all of a sudden you got a headache. Then some start feeling funny in your body, in your stomach, and you get so weak. You don't know where does weakness come from. And then he said, well, you want to be intimate? The devil is a liar that you two are married and you can't be intimate. This is supposed to be a place of enjoyment. But then when you was out there in them streets, in out there in them streets, single, the devil had you sleeping every night, enjoying, enjoying just, just, go, just, just out there being intimate every night, every night. No, no, you ain't lose no energy. But as soon as you marry, didn't do it the right way. The devil just makes you so weak. We rebuke those spells. We rebuke those generational demons. We rebuke the, that stuff happened to your mother. Now it's happening to you. And then one lady, I was talking to her. She told me how her granddaughter is now smoking and drinking and all kind of stuff. I said, let me tell you something. It's not just your granddaughter just up in the side because peer pressure in school. I said, did you have any form with these spirits? She said, yeah, but that was in my teens. It, it, she just, no, 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 no. Do you see what just happened? She said, what? She, she was trying to act like it was nothing. I said, do you just see what happened? Did you, are you seeing what's happening? Your granddaughter is now smoking. And then you said you were smoking when you was a, a, a teenager. But yeah, that was when I was, but then I said, no, see the pattern. I said, do do your daughter do it? She did it too, but she was younger, but we ain't doing that no more. I said, listen, that spirit prevailed against your family. It has not stopped. I said, did your mother do this? Your great grand, the great grandmother. I said, so that mean that was back in slavery time, back in, back in the 19th. So you mean tell me in that? The, the the 1960s the, the, the 1930s they were smoking yeah I was told everybody in our family smoked so you mean to tell me you dealing with ancient devils that spirit visit it knocked at her door knocked at your door knocked at your daughter's door knocked at your granddaughter's door everybody they knocked at and y'all all opened the doors to that spirit Who's going to take that spirit out that it don't touch it no more in this bloodline? It can, it has to stop in this bloodline. 
You got to pray prayers that I arrest these spirits and it has to stop. I'm broke. You broke. None of us got money for gas. Baby, I'm sewing. I'm sewing everything. If you see that this is a spirit, when, when you, you don't have money for gas, you don't have money for food, you don't have money for this, you don't have money for that, and you're constantly always in lack, lack means you're not poor, you're not broke. Lack means you're not poor and you're not broke. When the spirit of lack comes in, it only hits you so you won't have it when you need it. Mm, you got to break that. You got to break that in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. To disarm the spirit of darkness. To disarm the spirit of darkness, you need the spirit of light. To disarm, take these quick notes because I got another assignment. I got to go. So we let me get this out. To disarm the spirit of darkness, you got to have the spirit of light. You got to have the light of God. That's the only way you can disarm darkness is with the light. You disarm darkness with the light of God. You got to have the light of God. In the, Let's pray this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, any darkness that's over my life, I rebuke it now. I rebuke it now. I rebuke it now. I silence darkness over my life in the name of Jesus. Any darkness that's speaking over my life in the name of Jesus, I silence it. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And I declare, Lord, let there be light. Remember, Jesus asked them, do you want to be made whole? Today, I ask you today in the name of Jesus, glory be unto God. Do you want the light of God to flow through you? Do you want the light of God to flow? So you begin to tell Satan, Satan, you have no right to touch me. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I have to say that a lot when I'm driving. I have to say, listen, I belong to Jesus. I am redeemed. I'm redeemed from, from, from curses. I'm redeemed from poverty. I'm redeemed from the, the spirit of, 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 of wicked spirits. I'm redeemed. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. I belong to Jesus. And so we thank God that when we belong to Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, these spirits have no right. Y'all got these, these braces and stuff. They have no right to touch you. They have no right to touch you. And so you disarm these things in the name of Jesus and you declare, I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. And you begin to go down the list where you see Satan has touched you where he has touched your finances, where he has touched your mind, where he's making you feel mentally ill. You say, uh-uh, I belong to Jesus. You are not going to put, you're not going to send me into no crazy hospital. You're not going to send my children there. Uh-uh, I belong to Jesus. Come on, I am not rejected. I'm being protected. Come on, somebody. And all that matters is who, who, who I am in Christ. God is sending the right people around me. You got to rebuke those spirits that say, nobody want to be around you. Nobody like you and all that. Does that. No, 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 no. You got to focus on and don't let nobody get mad at you for your focus on Christ. Because you don't know, you don't know what some people have been through. They've been, been tormented. Let God heal them. All right. The next thing you want to do is don't allow people who don't know God, rob you of your breakthrough. Don't allow people who don't know God rob you of your breakthrough. One of the things you're going to have to understand, you need to stay in joy and laughter. This is weapons in the spirit. These are ways you disarm evil spirits that's working against you. Stay in joy. Whatever you do, stay in joy. Stay in laughter. These are weapons in the spirit.
And don't be acting like you're too big to do certain these things. Some people are like, oh, I'm I'm too big. No, no, no. When you need breakthrough, it ain't about, oh, I'm I'm the CEO. No. You, you when when you it, it, um the, the premature death don't care who you are, it'll kill you before your time. Premature death is real. And those who don't understand how to silence the spirit of death will be victims of them. And all you'll be doing is just praying for people because like, I'm so sorry that you was a victim to it. But you got to learn right now. This is why we're raising up an army of people and say, listen, you messed with me before, but you're not going to mess with me again. Stay in joy and laughter. Count it all joy when you fall into different temptations. Count it all joy when different things hit your body. Rejoice. Laugh. Begin to pray now in the name of Jesus, Lord, whatever has stolen my joy, I rebuke it. Whatever has stolen my peace, I rebuke it. In the name of Jesus, I will stay in a place of laughter and joy. Hallelujah, Lord God. I will stay in a place of joy in the name of Jesus. I repent of anything that I have been harboring in my heart against anyone in the name of Jesus. I repent. In the, and I, I paralyze, I paralyze every spirit that is in operation now over my life in the name of Jesus. Glory be unto God. Oh, in the name of Jesus. The next thing is stop saying that you're just only human. I'm only human. That's why I'm stay angry. Uh, you know, you got to understand me. I'm a human. I'm a human being. I'm a human being. That's why I stay angry. You know, because I, you know, I, I, you're human. I'm human. You know, I, I, I get ain't All of us are human. But the Bible tells us to walk in the spirit. And if you keep telling that excuse that you're only human, you're going to keep being victimized as a human being. You're going to keep getting the results just like that. No, I'm, I walk in the spirit. The life of God is in me. The life of God, anything that's dead in my life, right now in the name of Jesus, come, may the life of God bring it back to life. Dead finances, come back to life. Dead marriages, come back to life. Dead my, my, Me, dead in ministry, dead um, anything that's dead in my life. The life of God is in me. Come alive, come alive. I prophesy to you, live. I prophesy to my children, hallelujah, live. I pro You have the uh, authority dominion in your mouth and you can speak live i want some of you to begin to pray right now in the name of jesus anything that's dead in your life right now begin to prophesy live dead businesses live dead clients live come on sometimes it's just it's something just happened in the spirit realm and things are just dead you got to begin to activate it again i command you to live i command this thing to live i speak to it i speak to my health and i command my organs to function i command man the blood of God to flow through me um, and purify me from any infections um, uh, heal me from all tumors and cancers um, in the name of Jesus um, I command my body to live uh, and have the energy and the strength of God uh, to do God's will begin to speak the life of God to begin to flow over every dead thing dead ministries live dead businesses live dead families live and then anything that's dying anything that's dying i speak the life of god hallelujah that we will live and we will be pr pr um we will have a uh, fruit we'll be successful hallelujah we'll see the victory of god in the name of jesus The next thing is, God says, stop running after people, running at the doors, and disarm every evil power that's coming against you, working against you to keep you limited. Break off the spirit of delay. Break off the spirit of, well, you're not favored. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in my life where people don't favor me, and I have to do so much to get people to like me, get people to favor me. No, the Bible talks against all of that. You can have the favor of God. You go and pray and say, God, whatever is hiding my light, whatever is in this place where I am being been hidden, in the name of Jesus, I, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Um, hallelujah. And I let God begin to talk on my behalf. Hallelujah. I will, I will no longer chase people, but I will go into prayer and I'll let God talk to people. See, stop chasing people and go into 
into prayer and let God talk to people. Lord, I thank you for my destiny helpers. I thank you, Lord God, for uh, my uh, those you have sent to help me, strangers that's going to help me, helpers in college, helpers in my academics, helpers, Lord God, you're sending helpers from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Lord, send helpers to help my children in school. Send helpers to help us in business. Send helpers to help us in the ministry. Send helpers to help me, Lord God. Helpers to help us financially. He said, go to me in prayer. And I, when you come out of prayer, there'll be people calling you. Hey, the Lord told me just to send you a seed of 200. I don't know why, but just God bless you. People will obey God. May people obey God concerning you. I don't know why, but come on, when you come out of prayer, there will be people that will come up and say, what is your monthly car note? I don't know why, but I heard in the spirit I was supposed to sow into you because I'm believing God for something major. And the Lord told me to sow into you. Come on, let it up go into prayer. Stop chasing after doors. Stop chasing after people and begin to call them by the spirit. Begin to call them by the spirit. I'm teaching you how to get supernatural success and victory. People will come to you and say, I don't know why, but what is your monthly car note? I pray that there will be ones that come and say, "How? what is the total amount to pay it off? Because you do know there's some of you, all you owe is 7,000. That thing is paid off. All you owe is 10 and that thing is paid off. And God will send someone that got the check that will pay it off. I declare in the name of Jesus that you will be marvelously helped by God. All of our help come up to coming from the Lord. I will look unto the hills. I will look unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help coming from the Lord. God is a very present help. God is a very present help. God is a very present. He's present and he's a help. He's a helper in the time of need. I pray now as you go before the Lord, repent for chasing people and go into prayer and call for, Lord, I call for helpers. I call for destiny helpers uh, to help us. Uh, I release my name uh, in the atmosphere. Um, Jackie Fleming, uh, Lord, uh, hallelujah, uh, calls angels uh, in the name of Jesus uh, to touch every person uh, that is assigned to help us. Uh, let them not sleep. Uh, let them, come on God, let them wrestle uh, all night until they obey you, uh, until they obey the spirit of God. Uh, there are people that is going to obey God concerning you. And they're going to be people that's going to obey, obey God concerning you, and you're going to obey God concerning them. You don't know, but you just obeying God. That's all you're doing. May people call you after you come out of prayer. I don't know why, but the Lord told me to pay your monthly note for six months, for the whole entire year. Lord, I thank you that there's no recession in heaven. There's full supply. Oh, la, la, let heaven invade earth. Let heaven invade earth. Lord God, we bring heaven on earth. Let heaven flow through us. Let heaven flow through us. We bring heaven. We bring heaven. Let us be an answer to somebody's prayers in Jesus' name. Are you crazy enough to believe God? Are you crazy enough to believe God today? Are you crazy enough to believe him? The next thing God says, don't give access to spirits by letting somebody make you bitter. See, this is what stops breakthroughs. This is how you disarm evil powers working against you. Don't get bitter. Don't get into offense. Don't try to prove yourself. If somebody has done you wrong, don't go into trying to prove yourself that you're right. You got to let God vindicate you. But you trying to vindicate yourself, you're going to mess things up. You're going to mess things up. Imagine, I don't know who I'm ministering to, but God said, you messing things up. You're trying to prove that you are a Christian. You're trying to prove that you really have a genuine heart. It doesn't work that way. You cannot try to prove yourself. You've got to just stay before God and don't go into bitterness. Uh, imagine if Joseph would have tried to prove himself 
so bad and said, look, I'm not supposed to be in the prison. Just get me out of here. Get me out of here. And he did not obey God about dreams. See, some of you all, you're in a prison, but you still got to obey God. Mm. And you can't obey God because you're so focused on getting out the prison. Mm. You're so focused on trying to preach. Mm. You so focused on trying to be a prophet. Mm. You so focused on trying to get titles. Mm. Mm. He said, listen, you so focused on trying to be a millionaire. God said, you can't even see what I'm trying to do because you so focused on trying to get out the prison. But the, the, but the assignment is to just obey. He never said you had to obey in perfect seasons. You had to obey when the sun was shining. Sometimes you got to obey with an umbrella. It's pouring down raining and you still obey it. You have to understand what if Joseph didn't obey God, given interpreting dreams. Imagine when the man came to him and said, can you interpret my dream? Hey, forget about your dream. Look, can I, look, look, let's figure out a way to get up out of here. Let's got to get up out of this prison. Obey God. Don't give the enemy access to spirits by letting somebody make you bitter. Don't let people make you bitter. Repent now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we repent, Lord God, for bitterness. We repent, Lord God, any area of our lives where the enemy has tried to come in in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we repent now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we repent if we are gossiping. We repent, Lord God, if we are speaking doom over our lives, our children's lives, we repent and we stop those curses now. We stop stop those word curses now in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh Lord, hallelujah, glory be unto God. We will begin to repent now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory be unto God. The Lord says, begin to disengage. And he says, remember, if evil is coming against you, don't worry about if it's coming against you. Begin to pray right now in the name of Jesus. I come against any witchcraft spirit. Begin to pray now in the name of Jesus. You can't stop evil from coming against you, but may the Lord in, in, increase your uh, uh, discernment. May the Lord give you the spirit of discernment in the name of Jesus. I pray that spiritual gifts come upon you now. Hallelujah. I pray right now that spiritual gifts come upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord release upon you spiritual gifts at this time, at this hour. In the name of Jesus, glory be unto God. That spiritual gifts may come upon you now. Glory be unto God. For where God is about to take you, I pray right now that the angels that release spiritual gifts that come upon you right now, ask for gifts. Where God is taking you, you need spiritual gifts. I pray that the nine gifts of the spirit come upon you now. The first group of the spiritual gifts are the say something gifts that you can prophesy, uh, uh, speak in tongues, interpretation of tongues. These are supernatural gifts from heaven. Lord, we pray now, God, God you said if we have not because we ask not. We ask for the, the gift of prophecy. We ask for the gift of tongues and interpretation of tongues. Help us to be Begin to prophesy, prophesy to this, prophesy to our children, prophesy to our marriage. We will be able to give a word of the Lord to our children, to the nation, to the governments. Lord, those who need to receive the gift of prophecy, receive it now. The gifts of tongues and interpretation of tongues. You'll be able to pray mysteries into the heaven. You'll be able to interpret what you're saying. Yes, the spirit of the Lord is saying, I need to wait. The spirit of the Lord is telling me to move forward. How I feel to move forward. Hallelujah. These are supernatural gifts from heaven. The second group is to know something gifts. This is the prophetic flow gifts. These are the prophetic flow gifts where you receive the revelation gifts, uh, the word of knowledge, the word of, uh, of, of wisdom, the discerning of spirits. This is what I'm talking about right here. You need the discerning of spirits. Ask the Lord right now, Lord. I receive the word of wisdom. Give me wisdom. Lord, I receive the word of knowledge. Give me words of knowledge that I may speak into people's lives and give them the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom. This is the wisdom of the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't, don't do this. The wisdom of the Lord, the knowledge, the word of knowledge of the Lord. And then I ask Lord God for the discerning of spirits. Help me to discern spirits, good spirits, bad spirits. Help me to discern when angels show up. Help me to discern when evil shows up. Help me to discern your presence. 
Help me to know if I'm in the flesh and I'm too carnal. Help me to discern spirits. Help me to begin to pray. Help me to not try to boast that I'm so spiritual that I tell everybody, but I'm able to pray that these people see breakthroughs, that I see breakthroughs. The last gifts, uh, the third gifts are uh, the third group is to do something gifts. These are power gifts. I prophesy the power gifts upon you. This is where you walk in your kingly anointing. This is where you walk in your kingly anointing. Begin to ask for the gift of faith, the gift of healing, the gift of working of miracles. I begin to pray now. Lord, I receive now my kingly anointing. I ask for power gifts now that it comes upon me. Hallelujah. The gift of faith. Lord, give me the gift of faith that I can believe God for anything. Give me the gift of healing. I can speak to my body and I command that sickness to go and I can be loose from all sicknesses and I walk in divine health where you don't get sick. May the Lord, may he anoint your hands for the gift of healing. Anybody you touch, they get, they become healed. Their mind healed. Their bodies healed. In the name of Jesus. And it will also work for you. I ask God for the gift of working of miracles. Blinded eyes will be open. Deaf ears will hear. People will come out of the wheelchair. Lord, I ask for the gift of working of miracles. Pray now. It's the body of Christ. God doesn't want a one man show. He doesn't want a one one, 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 one man show. It's the body of Christ. We all need to walk in that level of anointing where the greater works is flowing out of us. Greater works is flowing out of us. It's on us. It's upon us now. In the name of Jesus, receive spiritual gifts at this time. You got to know every person that is on here, may they receive it now. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we blow the anointing upon them now. In the name of Jesus, receive the power gifts, receive gifts, different gifts that God will put upon you at different times. At midnight, you will wake up and you will discern, I need to pray. I don't know why I'm praying. At 3 a.m., the Lord will wake you up and tell you to pray. You don't know why you're praying, but the Lord will have you to disarm some spirits that is happening. Listen, we will obey. Listen, if you notice that God is waking you up super early, early and at late at night, you better go to bed on time. Get some rest because you're on an assignment. Assignments don't last long, but whatever, sometimes the Lord is, is, is he's, he's charging you. He's assigning you because he can trust you that if I tell you to get up, you'll get up and that you will manage this and you will record your dreams you will record what happens to you. You will write it down. This date, this time, the Lord woke me up and I prayed for, prayed for mercy. I prayed for this. The Lord is showing me. He's teaching me and different things. The Lord can trust you. If he see he can't trust you, he's going to use somebody else. He's going to wake up somebody else. He will revisit you to see that you learned a lesson. But right now, in the name of Jesus, we can't stop what people are doing to us bad. We can't stop people from doing bad stuff, but we can prevent it from touching us. In the name of Jesus, I break off all witchcraft spirits. I break off witchcraft. I break off black magic. I break off voodoo. I break off spells, white magic, in incantations. I break off uh, uh, any spirit of witchcraft off of me in the name of Jesus. I break it off me. I break it off my mind. I break it off my children. I break it off our business. I break it off my job. I break it off my finances. Any spirit of witchcraft now, I break it off now. Spells, I break it off now in the name of Jesus. Begin to break it off in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You cannot touch me. I break off, hallelujah, demonic attacks, all demonic attacks, demonic delays, uh, demonic, uh, uh, anything that's delaying me, I break it in the name of Jesus, anything that's hindering me, anything that's resisting me in the name of Jesus, I break it in the name, in the realms of the spirit, anything that is resisting our breakthrough, anything that's trying to stop the flow of God in my life, I re 
resist it now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I plead the blood of Jesus and I rebuke those spirits. I rebuke you. I cast you out. I send a restraining order over you. I rebuke you. I, 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 I put a stop to it. Loose me from these spirits. Loose and I put a blood hedge of protection around me, my family, my children, I, all that we have in the name of Jesus, our health in the name of Jesus. The Lord says, may you walk in greater levels of dominion. Take territory back. Take those gates back. Take those gates back. We shut every demonic gate that's open over our lives. We shut every demonic door that's open over our lives. Those demonic doors that say you can't do this and you can't do this. You can only go but so far. You only can make so much money. We break it in the name of Jesus. Anything that is demonic over our lives, remove the spirit of darkness and Lord, give us light. Light, light. Let the light of God overshadow darkness. Before you run your mouth this week about what the devil is doing, the Lord told me to remind you, pray, pray. Have you prayed about it more than you talking about it? You're going to learn less talk, more praying. Put that in the comment section. This year, this month, less talk, more praying. Less talking. You running your mouth on the phone. Yeah, and you, 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 you upgrading witches about what's happening to you. You updating them. You updating them. You're updating this one and updating this one. And, 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 and I'm telling you, as soon as you get off this thing, it's going to be a drive-by devil that's going to text you. Mm -hmm. They're going to give you crazy insults, waiting for you to read, waiting for you, waiting for you to respond. They'll say certain things. They'll call you. And it's, it's a drive-by devil. And when you, it, it, I'm not telling you be so afraid, you're afraid to pick up the phone, pick up the phone, say, hey, how you doing? God bless you. Good to see you. Everything going good? Mm -hmm. But when they get into the gossip, you be like, all right. Well, you know what? Look, I'm about to take my children to camp. I'll see you later. I'll talk to you. You're doing good. All right. Hey, but, but let me tell you about so-and-so. Look, that ain't, they ain't got nothing to do with me. You want to pray? Let's pray for them. Um, that'll kill that thing right there. Because I'm this is what's stopping a lot of breakthroughs. Less talking, more praying. Well, you don't understand. My husband and I, we not getting along. You pray about it first before you run your mouth to any pastor, any leader, anything. You pray about it first. Lord, I give you this marriage. Lord, I give you all this anger and fighting and bittering. Lord, I give you my spouse keeps spending all the money. Lord God, and we got to pay our bills. God, Lord, help us. Lord God, get us out of the cycle. Lord, help us. Lord, Lord, show me what to do. Lord, show me what to do. Lord, what you want to do about it. I put this in your situation. I put this in your hands. And after that, Holy Spirit will guide you should you go talk to a pastor. Should, but he may not work that thing out and you ain't got to run your mouth. Because sometimes you'll run your mouth to people and they start treating you differently. The Bible says if you need help, go ask for it. But you got to learn how a wise woman builds her house. But a foolish woman would tear it down with her own hands. People act funny when they find out stuff. God is forgiven, but man, not so. God is forgiven. God will forgive you. He'll love you. But when you tell certain people's troubles and traumas that they go through, people are funny acting. They won't be the same no more once they find out. you be like, but that was my people are people, but not God. He's not like people. So you have to really be led by the spirit of God if you're going to tell your mess to some people. Well, I thought that you was trustworthy. Da, 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 da. Let God fight your battles. I'm not telling you not to reach out to people because God, it's God telling you to listen to prayer right now. So, yeah, you're on here listening to prayer, but I'm giving you strategy. If you're going to run your mouth to people, pray about it first. And let God tell you who you should talk to. I found out in the past, half of the time I was running my mouth, it was making the situation worse. When I went before God, he started turning things around. And I only talked to people as the leading of Holy Spirit. You know what Holy Spirit told me to text you? And most of the people I text or call, they always redirected me back to God. This is what God said. Look, keep praying for that person. Keep praying for your children. Keep praying for that situation. 
If they redirecting you, look, now you need to keep coming to me. You need to keep sowing seeds into me. I saw one lady, she said she reached out to this pastor and she said before she could even keep sowing seeds into me. Now, if you go to a counselor, you're going to have to pay. Ain't nobody free nothing. Ain't no free nothing. You go to a counselor, it's probably 145 and she going to do it but in 45 minutes. When that 45 minutes is over, all right, I got to go to my neck. And y'all ain't even solve nothing. But that's how that system works. Some people get results. Some people don't. But what I'm trying to get you to see is you have to understand if you're going to run your mouth to anybody about anything you're going through, you better be led by the spirit and ask God, do they have a track record with you? If not, it's just you just you just going to keep starting over and starting over. When you disarm powers, evil powers that's fighting against you, you will see God arise. And your enemies be scattered. You'll see God rise for you. We disarm. We're about to leave. Bitterness. Anger. Envy. Jealousy. Sicknesses. We disarm these evil powers that's working against us. These are arrows of envy that keep shooting at you. Arrows of anger, you stay angry. Arrows of bitterness, you stay in a place of bitterness. We break these things and disarm these powers. These are wicked spirits that come to stop you. The reason you got to disarm these evil powers because they're coming to stop you. Why am I so bitter? That means you're about to have a, a breakthrough. You're about to have a major breakthrough, but the enemy is like, just make her bitter. Make him bitter. Because if they don't pass the test, I, I, have, a, I have accomplished my goal. So you got to say, listen, you disarm evil spirits by saying, listen, do the opposite. If you see yourself bitter, say, mm-mm, mm-mm, uh-uh. If you see yourself not walking in love, that's the time you walk in love. You be kind to everybody. You be like, I, I'm just making sure, hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Make sure if you see somebody in offense with you, you hurry up and make it right. Look, God bless you. It's so, you know, hey, I, I was rushing, but I just want to make sure I stay in peace. You're not running behind nobody, but you stay in peace. You speak to everybody that you can, and then you get up out of there. Because people, you sometimes you linger too long around certain people that that has assignments by Satan to keep that spirit functioning. You speak, you show love, but you move on. Many of our parents, the reason a lot of them are not successful and not seeing breakthroughs, because these spirits have made a lot of them angry, angry with everybody, angry. They go to their graves angry with their old wife, angry with this pastor, angry with this one. Get it right. This is how you disarm evil spirits. You cannot hold grudges. If you notice you are jealous of someone and you really can think about it, did this person do anything to me? And the only reason you're mad at them is because they don't like your post or they're not visible with you online, then you need to repent. You really need to think about it. Why am I angry with this person? They did nothing to me. Repent. Repent now. Repent. Disengage. Break those, disarm those evil spirits. Any evil traps. Psalms 91 talks about any evil trap that the enemy has set over my life. Lord, show me and cover us now in the blood of Jesus. Tonight, this, this morning, as we have prayed, we thank God that he has shown us how to disarm evil powers that's working against us. The last thing I want to do is re release favor over you. I release the favor of God over you today. Strange favor, unusual favor. After fighting devils like that, you need to walk in favor. The favor of God. That the favor of God will make sure that nothing stops you, nothing blocks you. I declare you will have favor with man, favor with God, favor with people, favor with judges, favor with judges. I don't know why I hear that, but favor with judges, favor over that court situation, 
favor over that legal situation. Favor, favor, favor in your health, favor with the doctors, favor in the schools. May the schools favor you. May principals favor you. May those who are in position favor you. May those who can open doors favor you. May you have favor with people of influence. May they favor you in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we learn how to pray and begin to break all evil powers that has been working against us, when the thief is caught stealing, he got to pay us seven times that amount. And God, I thank you for giving us favor. Favor, Lord God, to continue to go. Favor to continue to preach. Favor to continue to possess the land. Favor to walk in dominion. Favor with the city. Favor with finances. Favor, favor us to pay off our debts. Favor us to have increase. Favor us, oh God, in business. Favor us financially. Favor us to pay our bills on time. That's a powerful thing. Lord, give us favor to pay our bills on time. Favor us, God. Favor us, oh God. Hallelujah. To bless us, to be a blessing. Favor us, oh God. Lord, I thank you, Lord God. Favor me. Favor my spouse. Favor our home. Favor us with properties. Favor us with land. Favor us to pay them off. Favor us to walk in a debt-free anointing. Favor us to do everything debt-free. Favor us with people and friends. Favor us, Lord God, with strangers. Favor us in the city. Favor us, oh God, hallelujah, with supernatural finances. Favor us, oh God, with supernatural intelligence. Favor us as leaders. Favor us, oh God, to speak and minister, to prophesy. Lord God, favor us, oh God, hallelujah, God, to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. God, give us favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we increase in you, enlarge our territory. Favor us to enlarge our territory. Lord God, to advance your kingdom, to not get the credit, but to advance your kingdom, to send forth your kingdom, to Lord God, show forth your kingdom in the world in this hour. Lord, favor us. Favor us. Favor us. Just like you favored Esther. And Esther had favor in the sight of all who looked upon her and all who looked upon her. Read that scripture. And Esther had favor in the sight of all who looked upon her. Anybody that looked upon her favored her. Lord, give me favor like Esther. Anybody that look at me, they want to favor me. God, if anybody connects, they'll be like, I don't know why, but I must favor you. I must favor you. Lord, I pray there will be testimonies on this live today. That people will say, I don't know why, but I must favor them in ministry. I must favor them in business. I must favor them financially. I must favor them and help them. God, send helpers to help us and favor us. In Jesus' name, favor my children. Favor my spouse. That husband that is struggling financially. Lord, favor them financially. Lord, favor them. Open up doors for them. Lord, let people favor them. Lord, let people buy their products. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for your favor. And we thank you, Lord God, that any evil that is in operation right now against me, we disarm it. We disarm their powers. We disarm their powers. We put a stop to it. We put a stop to that demonic attack. We, If you're in a demonic storm, we put a stop to it. If you're being attacking your health, we put a stop to those sicknesses and diseases. In the name of Jesus, loose us and let us go by the power and the blood of Jesus. Somebody tell God, thank you for this word. Thank you for this prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for favoring us. Thank you for helping us. Thank you, Lord God, for disarming, helping and teaching us how to disarm evil spirits that's fighting against our children. We break the spirit of premature death off of us. We will not die before our time. Our businesses will not die before our, their time. In the name of Jesus, I shall live and not die. I shall live and not die. I shall live and not die. I will not die working the business. I will not die working the ministry. I will not die prematurely. I shall live. I shall live. My children, will, I will not bury my children. I will not bury my loved ones. And I will not have to step foot in the hospital this year. Come on. The enemy wants you back and forth in the hospital. Any evil that's coming against me, I dis, come on, I disarm these evil powers. I put a stop to it in the name of Jesus. Satan, the Lord rebukes you now. Satan, the Lord rebukes you. 
Take your hands off of us now. All the people of God that's on here, take your hands off of us. It's enough is enough. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 I want you to speak that all week long, all day long. I want you to pray that morning, noon, and night. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. If you think about it this morning, pray it again. No weapon formed against my children. No weapon formed against my finances. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Someone just say that right now. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Speak it. No weapon. That's Isaiah 54 and 17. Isaiah 54 and 17. That will be your portion. We stand on Isaiah 54 and 17. We disarm evil powers working against us. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I don't care what you're doing. It ain't going to touch me. It's not going to touch me. And then he goes on and say, in every evil tongue that speaks against you, God, you will, you, you will have, you will, you will give me vengeance over these people who's speaking against me. And every evil tongue that rises against me, Lord, you will condemn them. Lord, you will condemn these evil tongues. Isaiah 54 and 17 will be our portion. We stand on this. Whatever evil is planning against you, we disarm them now over your children. Pray this prayer morning, noon, at 12 o'clock. You need to pray it again. At 12 o'clock at noon, it's 10 a.m. in my section, in the part of the world I'm in. But at 12 o'clock, I need you to pray it again. Set your alarm clock for at 12. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Then towards the nighttime, you pray it at night. And if you can set your alarm clock and get up around 12 and pray it again, midnight, no weapon formed against this house. No floodings will happen. Y'all don't understand what I see in the spirit. No flooding, no attacks, no evil hidden attacks that I can even see. It will not prevail. It will not, it will not touch me. It will not touch me. Remember, we can't stop evil people from doing evil things to us, but we can make sure it don't touch us. If you ain't get nothing I said today, just know whatever evil is being planned, Make sure you have been activated to know how to make sure it don't touch you. It won't touch your children. If somebody is trying to commit suicide, it, my, it will not touch my suicide. Suicidal spirits will not touch my children. Mm -hmm. It will not touch my spouse. It will not touch me. Mm -hmm. Anybody, any spirit of raping spirit that want to rape people in this land, you will not rape my children. I don't care where they are. I'm not going to be afraid of them going here, going to, you will not rape my children. You will not put my children on drugs. You will not put my children on drugs and alcohol. And I rebuke those spirits. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. You will not put my children in, in, in just drive them and torment them in college and in and, and schools and, and, and going to parties. And then the enemy trying to just come suck up. No, the devil is a liar. No weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. I want you to stand with that scripture all week long and pray it until I see you, but pray it three times a day. Today, we're standing on that scripture. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Any person that is under weapons right now, weapons that have formed against you, I guarantee you, you quote the scripture and you sow the scripture, you'll see God put a stop to that. That court case, some of you got to sow for your children, sow for your family, sow for your health, and say no weapon formed against us shall prosper. I want you to sow Isaiah, Isaiah 54 and 17. Some of you can sow $54.17. Some of you can sow $154. Whatever the amount the Lord wants you to literally in, in, disarm these spirits today. Disarm them. Disarm these spirits today by sowing. Those who are sowing, sowing is spiritual. Whatever you believe in God for, you'll see God put a stop to it in the name of Jesus. I want you to honor God with a seed today. Some of you are going to sow one fifty-four. Some of you are going to sow fifty-four dollars and seventeen cents. But that scripture you sow, we we attach our our faith to the scripture, 
and we put a seed in the ground. I want you to honor the Lord today. Pray in the spirit as you sow. Le la man seka la 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 baso. Le kande be 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 kule la baso kota la 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 baso. Le be 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 suta kata la 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 baso. Le mini ni yaman so kote kata la 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 ba. Le kata la 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 ba. We believe and we shall receive. We believe and we shall receive. We believe and we shall receive. In the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it is so. It is so. It is so. There are different ways to sow. As you honor the Lord today, I pray that you begin to see every evil that is, every evil that is working against you, you will see these powers, evil powers be disarmed. It has to stop. It has to stop. It has to stop. Those who are sending their seeds now, there are different ways to sow. You can go to the website and sow. You can go to Cash App and sow. You can sow on PayPal. You can sow to Zelle. There are different ways to sow today as you honor the Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be unto God. May the Lord bless you. Let's pray over every person. Lord, there are many people being harassed by devils. Right now, being harassed by devils. There are many people being harassed by devils. In the name of Jesus, every person that's being harassed by devils right now in the name of Jesus, we put a stop to it. We put a stop, even those who don't have anything to sow, we put a stop to it. Giving is obedience. It's, it's obedience to God. Even if you don't have anything to sow, God sees your heart that you want to. But those who do have something to sow today to this ministry, say, listen, I thank God for the woman of God praying for me. But this thing got to stop in my family. This thing got to stop in my mind. The cycle of witchcraft. Somebody sending spells against my business and my finances and marriage. You look up all wicked, all wicked things are happening. This has to stop in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I stand on, on Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon, no weapon. I resist every weapon. I resist those weapons that is coming and fighting against me, my health. I resist it now in the name of Jesus. I send fire. I send fire. I send the holy fire of God to burn those spirits, to burn that thing that has been stopping me, blocking my children, blocking me, blocking this marriage. All that fighting and anger. The Lord says you will live your days in peace. You will live your the rest of your years in peace and prosperity, says the spirit of the Lord. Peace and victory in the name of Jesus. We put a silence to those spirits and we put a stop and we put a blood protection and we command it to stop, stop, stop. You stop it. Stay in, you stop it. All demonic forces, stop it in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, as Holy Spirit helps us to get out of this situation. I release the angels of the Lord that's now to send mercy. Send uh, the angels that war, angels that fight on our behalf. Now, in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood. And everyone is that sowing today, Lord God, let this scripture speak for them. Let it be true in their life that no weapon can touch them. It will not touch them. It will not prosper. Whatever the devil is trying, it has stopped. And they will testify of his goodness. We disarm these evil's powers now and we plead the blood of Jesus. Lord God, you said when we give, we shall receive. And so we declare open heaven, a open heaven, a open heaven. God, even some people who have been bitter today as they repent, Lord, heal their hearts, heal their hearts, renew their mind, give them total restoration, restore them back restore their memory. Lord God, those who lost their taste from being sick, Lord God, replenish them. Give them total restoration now in the, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for those who are sowing. May the Lord bless those who have given in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless those 
who has given in Jesus name. I also speak Amos 9 over every giver. It won't be long. It won't be long. I speak Amos 9 over every giver today in the name of Jesus. And I declare it won't be long. Things are going to happen so fast for them that their heads are going to swim. Come on, declare it. It won't be long as I sow. It won't be long before I testify. It won't be long before we close on the house. It won't be long until these debts be paid off. It won't be long until we walk in God's will debt free. It won't be long until our families are saved and delivered and set free. It won't be long until we see the Lord change our story and give us a turnaround. It won't be long until we hear good news, good news, good report. Oh, the cancer is gone. Oh, this the the, the mental tumors are gone. It won't be long. In the name of Jesus, things are going to happen so fast. Whew. May you receive that scripture. Things are going to happen so fast for you and your family that your head will swim. One thing on the heels after the other, you won't be able to keep up. Lord, we, we put speed to their miracles now in Jesus' name as they sow. As they sow, may they testify real quick in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Those who are watching and you want to give your life to Jesus, you said, listen, I was blessed by this word today. Somebody shared the video and it blessed me. Father, I confess that I'm a sinner. Wash me, save me, deliver me, set me free. I want you to be Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, over my life. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. If you pray that prayer, welcome to the body of Christ. Amen. Welcome to the body of Christ. Amen. As you have given your life to Jesus. Amen. As you have given your life to Jesus. Glory be unto God. May the Lord make you whole. May the Lord make you new. I pray Holy Spirit will lead you to the right church family as you begin to grow in Christ. Listen, I got some exciting news. I hope you stayed on. I got some exciting news. Listen, I told you all last week. I went into a three-day fasting and prayer, and I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, "Brain, gather the women, gather the women together for three days with you for a time of refreshing. I want to pour back into those empty vessels. I want to pour back into them. Amen. I want to make them whole. I want to make them whole, that they leave out of their complete whole, ready to do God's will. They need a refreshing from me. They need to be restored. They need to be replenished. They need, hallelujah, hallelujah, to see a refreshing. And the Lord told me, and he said, let's do a women's conference. It's called the Refresh Women's Conference 2024 next month. And it's free and open to the public every night session. Yes, yes, but you got to register. Meet me in Atlanta, Georgia. April 24th through the 26th, a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday nights. Amen. Free and open to the public, but you got to register. It's free, but you got to register. And listen, the Lord told us to extend it to Sunday. So we're going to have an extra speaker come in Sunday to close us out with a prophetic impartation service. Every hand laid hands on, prayed for. Amen. Then we have day sessions. Amen. Starting at Thursday. Thursday session. Starting Thursday session. Then Friday session. We have day sessions. This day session, it requires registration. And these will be the prophetic poor sessions. These will be the prophetic poor sessions where you don't want to miss these. This is where you come out to get that impartation more uh, teaching the ministry and prophetic flow uh, Thursday morning at 11 and um, Friday morning at 11. And then the, fr uh, the night services are free. We have powerful speakers. You'll be hearing the announcements. But let me tell you something. You got to get registered now. Don't wait because I may end up announcing them right the week of the conference. But we want you to be registered to be by be led by God. Listen, here's the link to register. We have over 200 women that have registered. And listen, by me obeying the spirit of the Lord, he told me to do this for free for those who really needed to be there at night. Night sessions are free, but I need those who are coming to the day sessions to make sure you register pack the day sessions out so that seed that helps us to get these flights y'all linger then i'm gonna be like okay
we need you to register for the day sessions because it helps us to pay for those, the makeup for those who are not. Now, when y'all don't do right, then we're going to have to start charging for these free sessions. Amen. Because you can't have a conference if you can't pay for the speakers, can't pay for the flights, the hotels. And we're believing God that the budget is met. We believe in God that God is going to send financiers that say, listen, I see the vision she's doing. I want to go ahead and pay for the building she's renting. I want to go ahead and pay for, you know, um, just here's a seed of 3000 here's a seed of 10000 here's a seed to pay for the photographers the the videographers it's, you got to pay so much and so whatever her budget need we declare is met and we thank god for the financiers that is coming and saying i want to help i've been having so many responses saying i want to help i want to just be a part of it because i see this is all god this is all god so here is the women's this is my first women's conference. Conference. I have done so many other conferences. I've done a women's leadership conference. I've done a purpose conference, but I've never done a women's conference. And so I'm honored by God to gather women from all over the world. Amen. Won't you join us? Don't miss this because I may have to shut it off because the building I'm at is a little, the seats are getting a little tight. So I might have to just shut off even the free seats. I promise you because the, the man said the building is filling up. Unless I go take it to someplace bigger. If I take it somewhere bigger, y'all, we got to pay for that stuff. And you have to have financial support to go into these bigger buildings. And I'm not believing in no debts and none of that stuff. Getting in debt and I and at the end of the day, I'm sitting there with the bill. No, if God has called us to go to somewhere bigger, he will send the people to register. He will send the people to, and then we will then announce and say, hey, here's the bigger building. But right now the building we are in, it can't even hold over well just make sure you register if not we'll stay at that building and just cut off free registration and day session and when we get to the max amen this is our women's conference 2024 refresh somebody shout refresh if you're coming to the refresh say i'm registered if you're coming to refresh say i'm registered in the comment section listen go to this link register for the free sessions you have to register i don't care if you're going free we need to know how many people to prepare for we have to know how many seats to prepare for so even if you come in for free every every person that walk up in there must be registered whether free or um or uh the um day sessions all right that is the link i put it on there go to the link i just um hit it in the page for the first women's conference refresh amen glory be unto god listen so many people have registered yes we can't wait to see you you gotta be in house you gotta be in house in atlanta uh we'll be emailing every registrant about the nearby hotels um so we're going to be there april the 24th the, the 26th and we're closing out that sunday that sunday you get a break on saturday i'm gonna see we may pop up and do a little something on saturday but already we're going to be already doing wednesday night thursday night friday night and saturday morning and then um, um thursday and friday um day sessions you don't want to miss this glory be unto god so make sure you get registered for refresh women's conference it's going to be powerful we have already confirmed one of the speakers we got more coming amen can't wait till the flyer gets put up but the, it doesn't matter i'm going to be ministering god is going to be there holy spirit is going to be there here's the link again I'm putting it, oh, YouTube needs it. So let's see, how do I give this to YouTube? Let's see, that's on Facebook. So YouTube needs the link. Let me see, how do I send it to YouTube? So let me get that link over to YouTube. If you can be patient with me, because <laughs> I got to find, if somebody's on YouTube, let me see how we're going to send that link. Um, go to my email and let me send this link the YouTube because you're on YouTube asking for the link and let me do that right there. God bless you all for your patience and um, understanding. I don't pay people to work this stuff for me. I believe if you're going to just do it volunteer because it's everybody got their hand out for something. People people won't be paid and, and you you worth your payment. Amen. I don't. Um, oh, here go right here. That's the link right there. Glory be unto God. All right, so here's the link. I'm excited. This is for YouTube. 
edit paste that's for youtube so you should be able to see the link on youtube so we're streaming on youtube and on facebook refresh women's conference we're already over 200 so if we listen i'm just believing that it's maybe about 600 women that's gonna register 600 women because we're already over 200 and so y'all pack this place out for the glory of god the refresh women's conference all right make sure you get registered if you bring in four people with you you got to put four because we're going to ask before you walk through that door and if you at that door and you didn't register we're going to say look register before you come in because we want to respect people who have already registered and they helped us to go get the seating all right so we are preparing for people seating if they're registering for four people we are putting their chairs out and you show up and you are like, i want to come wear your ticket because we have to do that now because you know they got to put out the proper seating all right so that's for the free all right and then once we max out we max out and i'm gonna have to shut it down so when you hear me say sold out make sure you get registered if you know god told you to be there make sure you're there because we're gonna have to say sold out vip sessions you don't want to miss it because it's the prophetic pour they are pouring into you it's intimate yes it's 200 dollars, but it helps us to pay for the conference and the speakers because it's free at night amen we're not charging at night for no one to come in the only thing we're charging for is the day sessions and there will be so many surprises all kind of good goodies and all that stuff for the day session but you have to register we're going to give you the conference schedule everything is being planned out all right, the Lord gave me three days to plan all of this stuff in prayer. So look, it's going to be good. Just make sure you get there. All right, so we are looking for, uh, we're going to cut the VIP off. Uh, as soon as we get a certain amount, we got to cut it off. I don't want the whole room to be VIP. <laughs> I want just a few people to, you get preferred seating. So if you're a VIP, you pay for the 200 seating, you get to get the preferred seating. You get to come to the day sessions and the night session. All right, so we can't wait to see you at the Refresh Women's Conference. All right, if you are blessed by my ministry and you enjoy it, listen, we are... Um, we have launched our own ministry on Sundays. Yes, the Discovery Center. So you can come in person to see us every Sunday. All right, 1230. I'll see you Sunday at 1230. Look, click on this um, screenshot, this flyer right here. The address is on the flyer. Can't wait to see you this Sunday at the Discovery Center. I hey, mean, we are there in-house every service and online at the Discovery Center. Can't wait to see you if you're blessed by our ministry. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We'll be praying in the morning at 5 a.m. every Wednesday morning. Make sure you join us every Wednesday morning at 5 a.m. prayer. Amen. Set your alarm clocks. We're praying live on YouTube and Facebook. Amen. God bless you. Shout your city and your region out. We'll be praying and fasting over each and every person that participates, that watch, tunes in for the glory of the Lord. Is the $200 for the both sessions? No, $200 is only for the day session. Thursday session in the morning, 11 a.m. It starts at 11 a.m. And then Friday day session. That's the $200 for the day session. The night sessions are free and open to the public. You can bring your children. You can bring your husband. But if you're going to bring four people with you, you got you to gotta register four people because we need to know how many seats to, to prepare for. So it's free. Yep, it is free. Yep, but you need to register. Make sure you get to the day session because you need a time of refreshing. Come out and get in. So the sessions are restore her, replenish her, you know, renew her. And, and you're going to see that we have we have some amazing things that's going to happen. Don't want to miss the VIP sessions. You don't want to miss the VIP sessions because this is the time you get empowered, strengthened, more than just preaching and all that stuff you this is the sessions you don't want to miss so we already have groups of ladies have that already registered we will be cutting off vip day sessions soon because we don't want we want it to be intimate and we don't want too many so as soon as that fills up we cut off day sessions and we cut off the vips these are people who get preferred seating but listen these are the ones that helped us meet the budget to pay for a lot of the stuff for the conference all right 
God bless you for your obedience. All right. Remember, this conference is free every night. All net night sessions are free. All right. So we bless God for you, you and you. And we are praying for you all. So uh, Diane says she's just registered. Is this conference at the Discovery Center? Yes. Well, we have the, the Discovery Center every Sunday. That's where it will be at. If we get over 400 women, we will have to move it to a bigger building. But um, right now, we're over 200 women. So if we get more registrant, we'll move it to a bigger building. Uh huh. But I can just cut it off right when we get to a certain amount and um, and just have it there and say, hey, those who register, just register. And, and we just keep it at that building. And so, yeah. We'll, we'll end it off that Sunday with a closeout service. We'll have a speaker there for the um, closeout of the Women's Conference next month. So um, we will start off Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about this Women's Conference. This is my first. I will be pouring and preaching and ministering, praying and prophesying. So you will see me at different sessions as well. And then I'm bringing in some women to help me um, with this conference. Mm -hmm. And we have vendors. Vendor, if you're going to vendor there, you will get uh, that vendor. We will email you about those um, that that information. But we are giving you exposure to over 200 women that has registered um, that you can show forth your product. We cut it off. We only receive it only a few. And then um, you get access to the day session and the night session. Your products will be out in that in that um, service. So um, I think that's about it. Um, God bless you. We'll see you soon. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for registering. Thank you all for this. I'm excited. We're going to see you all in Atlanta real soon. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. We speak the shalom of God upon you. Nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken. In Jesus name. We speak over you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord shine his face upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. And may the Lord give you peace. In Jesus' name. God bless you. I'll see you soon. Amen. Is the day session only women? Nope. Because my husband going to be there. <laughs> nope. We got a lot of women bringing their husbands. Um, we have a lot of women bringing their children. Um uh, so if you do bring your children, well, I, I don't even know. Like, y'all children going to be in school? <laughs> so um, I don't know. Is that spring break? It may be spring break for you all. But if you come to the day session and you inbox us and say, hey, I'm bringing my child, um, you can just bring your child. They don't have to pay. But, you know, they understand. But, yeah, day session is open to anyone, but you have to register to come. And this is what helps us to pay for the conference because the night sessions are free. All right? And so, you know, some people are waiting until they see the speakers and then get upset because I'm going to have to say sold out because that's I'm waiting. Some of the speakers are waiting until the last minute. And when they give me they found a flyer and all that stuff, then I put them up there. But then if the, the seats are filled, you miss the day session because you didn't obey God. And you're like, oh, I want it to be close up and empowered by so and so. And da -da 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 waiting on man stop waiting on man and hear by the spirit the lord says be there be there don't matter who's speaking if you hungry you eat <laughs> amen glory be unto god but if you ain't hungry you like to pick and choose but for some of us we can't pick and choose we register and do what god said all right glory be unto god so yeah the day sessions are open to the public and it's not just for women if you want to bring someone with you you can bring them and then um, the night sessions are open to the public as well. But the day sessions, you have to register. All right. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I think I'm seeing all the questions. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about Refresh Women's Conference. God bless you all. All right. See you soon. Amen. Yes, it is in Smyrna, but that's like, if you understand Atlanta, Georgia, Smyrna is next to Atlanta. <laughs> like Smyrna is like 10 minutes from Atlanta. 
you know, 20 minutes from the airport. Smyrna is Atlanta. That's the address there. Yes, it's in Smyrna, but it's like right down the street from Cobb. Uh, what is it called? Uh, Cumberland Mall. Smyrna is in Atlanta. Yes. 